Hello and welcome back to Water Cooler. This is episode 252. Wow. Wow. Also known as 69 plus 69 plus 69 plus 45. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Chris Loxamana. You know how the show goes. I hang out with my cruel digital buds, drink some brews or some claw, and kick a Philly style with me today. Kalen Beans here. What's going on? Hey, Kalen. Gary Sounds like the mic's not on. <laughs> Kalen's mic's not on. What mic is that one? Now, Kalen would know this if he uh, bothered to ever wear headphones in the studio. While Kalen's doing that, did you just say that this is episode 369 Trump? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Th- that's pretty much it. We made it. 69 times 3 plus Trump. That's what episode this is. Yeah. And Kalen, it's Studio 7. Obviously. <laughs> Should be Studio 69, <laughs> am I right? Yeah. Come yeah. on! Studio 69 yeah. minus 62. Yeah. Uh, Woo! Also, Gary coming to you live from Studio Sixty Nine Minus Sixty Two. Also, Gary Smith is here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Matt Fondelier. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Mike Dawson's here. Just listen to my hair grow. That uh, sounds fantastic. I like the tone. Kalen, are we on? I hope so. Hey. Oh, hey. There we go. <laughs> Look, I wasn't expecting Kalen to be in the studio today. I have just returned from a different country. I did some international travel. And typically when I travel, Kalen likes to be in the booth. Today he thought it'd be okay. So Kalen's taking his hatred of foreigners to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's he's uh he's here. We got I honestly it. hate being in the booths. And I do know that where you went in the foreign country was pretty secluded, so very secluded. Wait, you don't like being in the booth? No, I like being in here. I That's like true. I feel like I'm not part of the show. I like to be in here and you know, get the, the ambiance yeah. in the air. He get- started behind the glass. And now he's here. Started from the bottom. Now yeah. he's here. Oh, now he's nice. here. Well, we're glad to have you here. So uh, a few things to get into. We do have Flickin today. Yes. Which Sweet. I'm very excited about. And uh, for those who are wondering, why is this episode coming a little later? There's a bit. There's some crazy scheduling that happened this week, so sorry. But we are still doing two episodes this week, so make sure to tune in to Patreon for the, uh, for the next show. We will get much more progressively drunk as the hour goes on. Mm. That That's typically <laughs> how it goes. Gary, are you okay? No, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know. Let me, I know. I know something for sure is bothering Gary, and he brought it to my attention earlier today. And I can't wait to get into it with you guys because it it is quite the find. This I'm is our steamed. new segment, Gary Steamed. Yeah, Gary. <laughs> I, I hope to not use the word steam for the subject of this of Gary's uh, Gary's research, but it is it is very steam worthy. Like it, it's good. I'm vexed. Yeah, he's vexed. Uh, so we'll get into that momentarily as well. Uh, first off, I want to thank Mike Foucher. Yeah, thanks, Mike. He, Mike, <laughs> Mike is the guy who brought us a bunch of beers. Oh yeah, thanks. The, the ones that are day. in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. They're in the fr- the ones that are in the fridge. <laughs> uh, we brought them on the plane, and we brought them to Salt Lake City. Yeah, Mike. A funny story, actually. Right after you left, I tried to pick up one of the six packs to move it to the fridge area for Adam, and one of them dropped and exploded all over Chris. <laughs> That's right. We were wearing the clothes we were planning to take to Salt Lake City, oh, and no. I exploded a beer all over Chris. Not only right after you I can left. confirm that happened. Yeah. Not only did it, explode. and then Kaylin had to mop the floors. I'm sorry, <laughs> Kaylin. Okay. Not only did it explode all over the clothes I was wearing, it also exploded all over the clothes I was going to wear <laughs> because yes. my duffel bag was also on the floor. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. But we, I, I left it out in the sun. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah. A little mildewy, but it's all right. That's how my clothes usually are, I guess. Uh, so thanks, Mike. You can find him at 2mcanning.com because he's a big canner. Yeah, he's got a mobile canning business. So if you're a brewery or you know someone with a brewery, he'll pull up with a trailer, can your stuff yeah. up. That's awesome. I will say the labeling on this particular can, it's very professionally done. Yeah. yeah. It's adhered very smoothly. It's not sticky in any way. Yeah. So great job. I the didn't know yours really need to be appreciated here. It looks like it's got kind of like a matte finish. Does that hold? Like, has it got a better grip? Well, to be fair, any can? beer I have has a matte finish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so it looks like it has a grip, though. No? Yeah. Just, just it's the just same. Shiny. Yeah. So it's there's just shiny. The okay. There are two kinds of, of cans uh, that are in the beer world right now the ones that are, have like the big sticker on them and the ones that actually print onto the can. And I've been seeing both. Almost, the bread's like a 50-50 split these days. Sure. Yeah, so it's a, but I, I know it's controversial, but I'll, I'll say it again. I prefer can to bottle. I don't know. I just think, uh, 
I think it gets colder. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Yeah. And maybe it stays a little colder. Hmm. But speaking of, so his company again, Two M Canning. And I'm glad it's called that because it leads me into my next segment, which is, Galen, we're talking about The Social Dilemma. I watched right. it. Yeah. Watched it or read it? I watched it. Okay. I actually watched this, it, although still horrifying. Mm -hmm. But I watched The Social Dilemma on Netflix talking about all the Instagram stuff and all the algorithms and how they and how things maybe even listen to you and things like that. And the other day, we were talking about... Uh, Matt, Matt was letting the audience know about this new thing called a command strip, uh, mm. the three M command strip. So two M canning, three M command strip, um, where you can the, or the command hooks, right? That see, that's why I was confused. Yeah, sorry, the command hook. Yes, and that you can just stick your and use. I think use the command strip to stick them on because you can replace those sticky strips. They're very strong. Gary, your face. Yeah. What is going on? Okay, something. <laughs> I I feel like there's something. I, I think I know what it is, and we'll get to it momentarily. I love I love the tease, but anyway. So Matt is introducing to our audience the command hook, which everybody already knew about. And, uh, <laughs> Again, I still contend that we all knew what it was, but had we all used it in the application of placing multiple along your wall to hang string lights so that you don't have to put nails into yeah. your wall. So that, your, your to me, was, was supposed to be the revelation. Your segment was, have you ever used hooks to hang things? Maybe. Well, that was Maybe it was. <laughs> Maybe and, it was. Well, and they're very strong. I've hung towels on using using those. So, Well, pro tip to users, there are a variety of strengths. So you can get ones that only hold a half a pound, and then you can get ones that hold 60 pounds. Yeah, because my towels the, are the 60 pounds. The sticky part? Uh-huh. Oh Absolutely. shit, you just blew my fucking mind. You know how many of those stupid fucking hooks have fallen <laughs> off my wall? Oh yeah. I There's... gave it as a tip, but it doesn't work that great. <laughs> wow. I think you should leave the command hook segment to me going forward. <laughs> yeah, wow. there's a variety of I gotta uh... tell my wife about this. Yeah, go to Target. They have a great command hook well, section. Oh my god. I can help you out with this too, Matt, because uh, that day we talked about it. I go on Instagram and the very wow. first ad Chris, I'm sorry, but I, I just realized the transition from two M to three M. Yeah. Wow. There it's it is. Just, that's so professional. Thank it's you. Good. So Instagram. That's the only reason I want to promote Mike. I wasn't going to give him a plug at all, but I <laughs> uh, figured if we are going to talk 3M. So I go on Instagram. The very first ad I get are for 3M hooks called Claw. The wow. 3M hooks <laughs> called Claw. Obviously, the internet is listening to this show. Oh, you're scared of the Claw. I am now. I am. How does that happen, Kalen? I didn't. Well, I didn't. I didn't look up 3M hooks after the show. I think your phone's listening to you, one. But I don't remember the um, the phone like listening to you and ads being targeted coming up in the social dilemma. Am I wrong? Did that come up? Because I don't remember it, anything it, in there the, about the audio. The stuff. The audio didn't really come it up. Didn't. But, but it's the. I'm talking about just the targeting and the tracking. Yeah. Like it yeah. just. It keeps that's obviously it, what happened. It keeps, I have. I have a profile somewhere. It happens to everybody. Yeah, in the internet, it does happen to everybody, but. This one kind of freaked me out just because I didn't even look at any ads. And it was a double whammy Google. with the command hook and the claw. Exactly. Yeah. But anyway, these claws look really great. I think I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And, well, uh, and Matt, if you look, they have different strands, 15 pounds, 25 pounds, 45 oh pounds. That's I amazing. So all, I know you've been hanging some 45-pound lights. and Dude, now those strands are heavy. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. Now, I think you bring up an interesting point, and it raises a very interesting question. Clearly, your phone is listening to the show obviously a big fan i want to know what percentage of our fan base are cell phones how many other phones are listening to our show shit right and can they sign up for patreon yeah can this can I, look we have a lot of listeners all over the world gary and i just went to salt lake city got barked at a ton by humans <laughs> but if i bet if phones could bark we would have got some. Yeah, yeah, we would have had a, mm. a, quite the crew. And I hear that if the cell phone barks at Dawson, you have to the phone has to buy Dawson a beer. Yeah. Yep. So uh, unfortunately, phones can't bark, but they do. Li they do obviously they're listening to listen the show. To the show, they're fans. Right. I mean, if you listen to the show, you're a fan. How can you not be? Yeah. So, I I'm very curious at our demo now. I'm like just saying, here we I can am, start really targeting things toward our cell phone audience. Like here I am. I'm talking about us being pro puppy. We're pro. Obviously, we respect all women. But <coughs> I, I think I'm just humanizing all of our listeners when really a lot of them could be cell phones. That's right. Yep. Okay. I uh, I had no idea. Now my mind 
once again. In fact, we may as well start this rumor. I hear that this show is the most popular (laughs) podcast amongst cell phones. Mm. I've heard that. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I have have a rumor that deals with Salt Lake City. The rumor is that if you go over to Utah Olympic Park, Uh there's a plaque on the wall that's got all of the names of the people who worked at Utah Olympic Park during the uh, Olympics in 2002. The rumor is (laughs) that my name is on that plaque. Really? You guys guys should have gone and checked that out. I wish you would have told us that when we were there. It beats the arch. It beats the arch. I I highly doubt that. It's actually Salt Lake City. But I haven't haven't personally verified it, so it's it's still a rumor. (laughs) How would you not personally? Your your name is on there. I drive out there. I'm sorry, dude. I'll, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drive out to head out Salt there. Lake next week. Traffic will clear up in a couple we'll hours. Just head over. We have a show's a regular time tomorrow. Now we got lots of listeners in Utah, so go go to Utah Olympic Park and see if something like that exists, and see oh. if you can find Mike Dawson on there. Please do that. And um, yeah, because any Mike Dawson. I've always wanted alive. to know. I've always really wanted to know. All right. All yeah, right, I, we have, hey, we do have people out there. Somebody go out to the Olympic Park and, and let us know. But anyway, just uh, yeah, that Instagram ad just freaked me the f out when I saw it because yeah, double whammy, claw and three yep. M these new fangled hooks. That- now, if after the show you get an ad for skiing in Utah or Utah Olympic Park or anything to do with the Olympics, then we know they're listening. All right, that's true. Thank you, and that's the only way to prove it. Look, that's we're the get- only way. That's I will tell you this: we way. are getting very scientific on this show, and we'll get into it during our, our the segment I, I love doing listener comments. Uh, and if anybody wants to know where I get a lot of these comments, it's from our Facebook group. Just go to facebook dot com slash groups slash Bobo Boy Army Worldwide LLC. Very easy to find. Yep. Uh, answer a couple of questions about the pod. You know the answer. That part's important because a lot of people <laughs> haven't been, and I am not forgiving. Really? <laughs> okay. Because oh, yeah. the, the two questions are, we'll say at least the questions. They are, what uh, frat was what Gary in? kind of frat? What kind of frat was Gary in? And what is Kalen's alter ego? Very easy. Very, very easy. Now, Gary, how soft are you getting? Like, like I've seen people write Delta Foo for the frat. Wrong. That, Wrong. Actually, that should be a major... See, no. here's the thing. If you get one of the questions right or close to right and you put something like Delta Foo for that other question, I think you're going for funny and I'm fine with that because you do know the you are trying whatever. What I am vigilant on is there is a disturbing number of people who just don't answer either question. How are they and finding it? I have no idea, but that if you don't answer either question, I, there's never been a quicker decline button I've mm. ever hit. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. I did that to an employee of this company. Gary Gatekeeper. I no, I'm sure don't say don't say that too fast. It sounds weird. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, no, better better than yeah. your name being Jared Goff. Yeah. But, I mean, I'd, just, I'd take his bank account no. and that name. Yeah. If I had to. No, but we're talking about Gary Gatekeeper. Right. So don't say it fast. <laughs> what? I'm I'm not. Anyway, so Gary Gatekeeper, he he lets all the all the people in to the group. And I think a lot of it is word of mouth. Like maybe I wonder if people who don't even listen to the show hear about how great this Bobo Boy Army Worldwide LLC Facebook group is, and they just want in. Yeah, so there's a lot of great discussion happening in there. A lot of people want to see pictures of the number six and nine <laughs> appearing in sequential order. You can find uh, a year's calendars worth of, uh, of those photos in the group. People want that content. This yeah. is the kind of content they like to see. But anyway, <laughs> let's get into some listener comments. I uh, actually don't have my theme song loaded. My my computer took a crap. So uh, sorry, because that's that's the uh, listener comments jingle was written and performed. Well, not really written, I guess, but it was performed. It was I guess it. Okay, it, it was written as well. It's it's a parody <laughs> song. I don't. Know, I can't say he wrote the music. Weird Al wrote his song. <laughs> Okay, so written and composed by K.C. Peters. Now, K.C. Peters also wrote the theme song you hear at the beginning of the show. Um, basically, almost all the jingles, almost all of them. And this past weekend, K.C. got married. <laughs> yeah, so he he uh, he he told us he was going to go get married in Vegas. He he's also he had a lar- much larger wedding planned. During, I think it was like in July for July. And uh, because of COVID, he had to postpone it. And they just went and went after it this weekend. 
and he got married. And I have the video. It's in the Facebook group. I'm going to project because i got to load up my computer here. Um, but it's pretty great. And I didn't think Kalen was going to be in the studio, so I emailed it to him to play in the computer. But oh, so here. it's Kalen's fault. We're going to fire the boom operator. He's supposed to be <laughs> following you. Yeah, okay, here we go. So this is Casey. That's He's a in a limo. It's a handheld microphone. He's in a limo with a bunch of people in suits and dresses. I assume his wedding party. Sure. And here he does a little video for the group, and here it is. Hey guys, this is Casey Peters and my wife, hey. Gabby Hewitt, oh. and we just got married. <laughs> what up? <laughs> I love it. A car full of strangers. You're making them bark for us. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. I love there's a girl in the back that's just like, arf, arf, arf. <laughs> That is pretty fucking great. Yeah. It's amazing. And uh, that is what I would call a uh, phenomenon. A cultural? A cultural phenomenon. phenomenon. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, well, congratulations, Casey. I mean... I we couldn't were, think of the word cultural. Thanks, Cam. You're welcome. I appreciate it. We are it. so happy for you, and uh, yeah, just always appreciate you contributing to the show, and wish wish you guys the best. My understanding is a number of people from the Bobo Boy Army were married this past weekend. I saw some, one of the posts on there was like, add your number if you're getting married this weekend, and then it got yeah. up to like six, and then someone put a nine after it. But <laughs> I feel like at least six people I think we married. cook a lot of our numbers here in the group Maybe. just to I get into 69. I don't know, but it seemed like legit. That's what we need. We need a picture of Casey Peters and his wife 69 Okay. Uh, this is really, a children's show. Right. To this really bring it show. home, the whole 69 picture No, nope, that's thing. not a thing. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Uh, let's see. And then, uh, as Matt said, a lot of 69, 69s in the wild. Rich Skeleton, Casey, Johnny Shine. And again, for new listeners, the these are not people 69. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> for the love of God. We don't need... This is a children's show. 69s in the wild. <clears throat> I saw Target. You can receipt. tweet them to me at Matt Fondelier. <laughs> and... Also, Joe Giacero, who does the logo Chichero. for this. Giacero. who did the logo for this show. For everybody listening on your phone, or if you are a phone, look at your phone. Look, look at yourself. <laughs> look in the mirror. If you're, if you are a cell phone, just look in the mirror, and you shall see the logo of the show. It's, it's uh, me with my head as a water cooler. Gary's popping his head in. Just look at your phone. We're Kalen's good. <laughs> beans. This is one of the few visual elements. Yeah, this, you I'm can trying just to figure out. Yeah, these people can just go ahead and glance at their phone. No, but don't it, need to, but doesn't it add an element it? if you look at your phone and then I'm ex- I'm describing what you're looking at? It's like yeah. I'm there. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there's an element there. A lot of people think that's what your head normally looks like: big, clear, blue, no. bulbous. But no, it's supposed to. be It's a all water those cooler. except for clear. <laughs> yeah, but all the other words are actually correct about my head. Uh, so Jacaro K- did that, huh? Yeah, Joe did. Uh, yeah, Joe did that. I and always thought that was pixel fun. Good nope. job, Joe. Yeah, no, that was that was Joe. Uh, hoo, hoo. And you, he, you know, your work uh, is on a certain level when someone will just glance at it and go, "Oh, that's that's pixel fun." Yeah, because that's a level of quality that it's a huge compliment to the artist that you thought it was someone it else's work. It's not often matched <laughs> and never surpassed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a it is a compliment if if the person you're mistaking the work for also is good. does great work. That's true. Yeah, that's that's the point I'm making. Thank yeah. you, though. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Well, if you, I have it on my phone here, but he designed a new water cooler. I don't know, just a new water cooler graphic. Pretty awesome water cooler. It says Woof Woof, Bobo Boys, Pro Puppy, Big Sixty Nine in the middle. Of course, <laughs> do we just oh, do we just commandeer that number? Clearly. And and then uh, respect all women in a uh, girl's face. Great. I think we need bumper. I think we need stickers. Those are that'd be great stickers. We yeah. should do. Yeah, we need stickers, merch, everything. You know. Uh, by the way, did you know that stickers uh, cost to benefit ratio are the best piece of merch any band or podcast can produce? I don't think even today. Because you sell them for a dollar. Yeah. And you get them for a nickel. I wouldn't buy a sticker for a dollar. But I guess that maybe that's just that's just me. And it's advertisement. It's advertisement. But I always thought stickers were just added. You just toss them in, add a bonus. Like if you buy a shirt, have a sticker with it. Sure, absolutely. If they yeah. spend more money with you. But yeah. when you're when you're setting up a merch table, always have stickers there, because people will pay a dollar for stickers. Noted. You hear that, there Matt? You go. 
for Shea Fondelet. We need yeah, some Shea let's make some sticks. stickers. Now, I, what I really liked <laughs> about this image is the respect all women, and there's a silhouette of a girl's face, side a profile. Yeah. And I thought, I think that is my favorite hairstyle for a girl is like a the, ponytail. A pony. I a love high, a, a, a the high, high pony. Ponytail. The high pony. High pony, good hoodie, look. and no makeup. Yeah. I, I, the high pony is just. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Look, we all have a. Pre- I was just going to ask what your guys' preferences are. If you have a preference for your wife or, or or girls, like, do you have a preference on a hairstyle? Do you even notice it? Does it does it matter to you guys? Because I I'm a fan of the the high pony. Well, I respect all women. Hear that, Jen? Jen knows that. Oh, every time she puts her hair in a pony, I'm like, oh, what's up? Mm, look at I, that neck. Yeah, mm, holler. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> that's my line. That's good. Yeah. What about you, Matt? I mean, I like my wife's hair a little bit longer on the longer end, which it is currently. But I like long hair too. In, during the time of our engagement and then the lead up to our wedding, she had a much shorter haircut, and I thought that looked pretty good too. But I generally I like the longer hair. I think. Mm. But what, and do I you think like back it down? on like ex girlfriends? Yeah, down. I think yeah. back on ex girlfriends. A lot of my girlfriends had longer hair. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I'm not a big fan of like the super short hair, like the like when if, like shorter than my hair. Like the, the girls will get really short hair. I'm, I mean, I'm disappointed you got a haircut, by the way. I had to. You man. were really getting thick and it fucking was, awesome. You want to know why? I wear. I've been wearing hats a lot lately, just because my hair is getting so long. It's getting hard to manage. And randomly, just during the day, my hat just pop off. Just pop <laughs> off my head. Like, there's just so much hair under it. I should be sitting there. Just my hat would just come off. That's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. I have a lot of hair too, but I, I've never heard of my hat popping <laughs> yeah, off because dude. of it. It's just well, hits the ceiling. No, it didn't do that. But it, back it, to what we were talking about. Yeah. HPT. Yeah. Definitely, I I, I, I think the best because another thing about the high ponytail is chicks will put it into the high ponytail when they're when they when they got shit to do when you're all about business and it's like, hey baby, come over here. I got a job for you. <laughs> Respect all women. Respect all women. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, like long hair, like Cameron Diaz, PCD with PHD. With, with with HPT. HPT. Or HPT. Yeah. PCD so with her HPT. Her hair is not long <laughs> enough to do HPT. <laughs> it's not. It's not. No, she she looked like pretty. she was trying to be a punker for Halloween. She had long hair in The Mask, though. Didn't she? It was like longer. Longer, yeah. Yeah, it's longer hair. And what about you, God, Kalen? She was hot in that movie. Uh, I would agree, actually, with with the high ponytail. You like the high I ponytail? Like See, the, the high ponytail doesn't get enough wow. love because I think it's must... I think it's too easy. So girls just think, oh, I just tie it up, no big deal. But man, it's a good look. Now, for people who are just listening, how high of a ponytail are we talking about? <laughs> I think Top, that there's probably a sweet zone here. We're, we're not talking about John Belushi's samurai. Dog yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You don't want the little <laughs> no. top, the top bow, <laughs> the not bam not. bam. I, it needs to be a forty-five degree angle. Okay. I think. Like, I think. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. You can't go. Mm-hmm. It can't be any more vertical than it is. It can't tuck the, it into the, the back HTP of your hat. with the HS <laughs> is a great combo. There you go. There. You, yeah. There. See. There we go. And Gary, your last one. I mean, what? What's your preferred hairstyle for the ladies? You know, I don't necessarily have one that I I love. I agree with you guys. I'm not wild about the shorter hair. Um, but. Whatever my, however my wife likes to do it, it's usually just fine with me. That is the right answer. That is, that is very – look, Gary, we need to run somebody for uh, Congress. I'm also going to say, too, it also <laughs> depends just on the shape of your face and stuff. Some women have shorter hair. It looks fucking amazing. Yes, so, true. Very, very true. And you should not uh, fault those women for their – I don't. For not being able to do the high ponytail. I don't fault any women, Matt. Would you say that you – Respect that all is, women. That is what okay. I do. Just and their sure. choices about their hair. Mm-hmm. And their choices about the hair. Absolutely, a hundred percent. But uh, Joe making that graphic, girl with the high pony. I was looking at high that. And I went, HPT. Sup? Uh huh. <laughs> you sucked your own logo, bro. <laughs> I my, I, dude, I set my own logo. Don't say that too fast either. <laughs> I do believe it was pictured with not the word logo, but Logue Bro. I'm pretty well, sure someone said that. Oh, it did. That, so. He did write that. He did it write Logue Bro. should be noted. Well, he, someone wrote that, but I agree with the person in the comments who put who posited Brogo. Bro. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. bro-go. 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 Why don't we just call it Bro-Bro and be done with it? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, our language just evolves to bro 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 now people are going to think we're a bro podcast. <laughs> well, bro is kind of like dude. We are bros, though. Yeah. You know. I'd say hang with my girl digital bros. Bro means eight million different things, yeah. depending on how you say it. 
Bro. Bro. The news nook is definitely that bro stop. science. That's right. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro. All right. What well, are you saying that? Birds don't freeze in space. That's from Kalen's segment. <laughs> they don't exist. So how I think about that every time I see a bird now. And I, I, obviously, you, I know it's not true, but I think, man. Do you? That, do you? <laughs> some birds, only some birds. You know, oh, they used to everyone's be, everyone's looking so hard for insomniac. I really think he's here. Oh, shit. And he's faking being Kalen. That's why he's bringing up these fucking bird things. Could be. Did your did your fake bird logic explain bird shit and all? It going, what is that stuff that's going all over my car? A grease you know? from the cameras. <laughs> oh, it's camera grease, right? They Duh. gotta be lubed up. Yeah, they, you're in they, the industry. Of course, they're watching. Yeah, you. there's a, there's a maintenance guy, the same guy who picked up all the lime scooters. He that's also right. collects a bunch of birds too and gets uh, them all uh-huh. greased up and sends them back out. Why they're the called wild. bird See, scooters? That's really confusing because of bird scooters. <laughs> that is yeah. so confusing. Nah. I try I try to help him and clarify. Yeah, it's good thing our did audience I say bird, is up Did I say bird scooters? You said lime scooters. You said oh. lime scooters but and birds. You said they also pick up birds. It's like. Well, oh, that's right. There. That's right. Okay, it's I, I was like, I don't think I said bird scooters because I didn't. tried to separate, but yeah, I didn't think about the the follow up. So that is totally mm-hmm. confusing and my bad. Especially <laughs> considering you and I recently grabbed a few birds. We did grab a couple. What are they birds? They weren't. They were uh, limes. They're oh, limes. By now Uber. I'm really <laughs> confused, <laughs> Gary. But we said let's grab a couple birds. What are the odds? Well, Grabbing a couple It's going to be really, really funny when somebody's got a lime tree in their yard and they're like, hey, dude, go grab a couple of limes and make some cocktails. And the dude's like, all right. And then he just walks out on the street and he's trying to find yeah. Yeah. a couple of fucking scooters. Or like 10 years ago, if I go, Doss, I'm going to go out and grab a couple of birds. He thinks I'm going to come back with like a couple of girls, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if we're in London. Yeah, see? Yeah. So it's all, yeah, all languages. We should just go to the bro language. Yeah. I think it's language the most clear. Language is arbitrary. So it, just it use bro it's as much as possible. It's arbitrary. <laughs> it's arbitrary, yes. See, and to the contrary, if Dawson was in London, he would say, I'm going to go out and grab some fags, and we would all be confused. <laughs> yes, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'd just say, I'm going to go blow a fag. Which he does say, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and last, uh, well, a couple more things. First off, uh, all home runs. Michael, Michael Porter wrote, a Bobo Boy Army Emergency. Oh, God, what? Need a decent whiskey at a reasonable price. Ooh. Help. Mm. This is tough because no, there's not. so many choices. No, it's not. It's just Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, Maker's no, Mark. Not. What else do you need? You're right. They're okay. all, all three of those are great, and they're all very reasonably priced. Maker's Mark is a bourbon. I was going to say. That's whiskey still. It's still whiskey, but it's 51% corn. Mm. Um, Jameson. I love Jameson. That's my choice. There you go. I vote Jameson, too. If anybody gave me a bottle of Jameson at any moment in my life, I'd be okay with it. I went to Ted Russell Camp's virtual birthday party. Well, it wasn't virtual. It was socially distanced. On, That's uh, totally different. Yeah. A couple of Sundays ago. <laughs> and a uh, real small backyard. And you How know, socially distanced you- was it then? <laughs> <laughs> you had to schedule a time to be there. Oh. <laughs> okay. So okay. me and me and my guitar <laughs> player showed up showed up at noon when the when the party started, and there were you know four of us, okay, all in the backyard. It's a good answer. We play music, but I walk in with a bottle of Jameson. Now I'll go into uh, recording sessions with Ted, and I'll bring a bottle of Jameson just for the fuck of it. But it's still a good enough birthday present, which means it's a solid enough. Straight fucking whiskey, you're covered. Yeah. Agreed. I also went to that party. And yeah, it was so, it's socially distant. There were, there were, look, there were only 10 people that I didn't know there, and it was in a closet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, look, I mean, we're, uh, we're slowly getting back to normalcy. I was in the airport we, all week, and I went to Mexico, and I, I'll, I'll talk about my trip in a little bit. But... Now the part that I was waiting for, we, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get scientific right now, guys, because mm-hmm. I forget who posted this. I actually have the, I'll bring the boom mic with me. I have the video here, but you remember a few weeks ago, Gary shared a couple of, uh, he shared a couple of videos of people farting in Costco phones and Target phones, and it's Gary's new favorite thing, is just the guy who walks up to the phone that. That for some reason is just very easily connected to the intercom ac- across the entire store, and just puts it up to his butthole and farts. 
This was posted in the Facebook group, since we're on comments, by Brian Burdick. Brian Burdick, yes. All right. Sorry, I got to open Kalen's email that I sent him. Um, Again, Kalen. It's your fault. It's Kalen's fault, not Chris's fault. Okay. So anyway, there is a... I'll just play you the video that... Oh, man, I have to download it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, while you're doing that, I will say that... Although sometimes it seems like they just pick up that phone as easy as they can. I like the ones where they actually like know what they're doing. And they pick up the phones and like input like the right number oh, and yeah. then go. Oh, this, guy's, this guy yeah. knows what's going on. That takes a little bit of like stalking. Like you gotta you gotta privately stalk an employee of the store. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do research. Or Watch you, them put the number in. Or more likely, you could have been one of the millions and millions of Americans who's worked at one of these places. Oh, that may also help. Yeah. Is it the same code across everything? Yeah. That seems like a dangerous design. Yeah. <laughs> if you know one of them, you know all the, you yeah. know them all. Pretty much. Wow. Uh, that kind of freaks me out, too. But do, anyway. you, That's like, you, do any it's of like, you guys know the code? I feel like we'd be doing our listeners a, a service. I worked at a TJ Maxx for a long time, and I don't I don't remember what the code was. Hmm. It's like pound eight. Something like that. <laughs> all right. Pound just, eight. Just go eight. pick up a phone and pick up pound eight. I just picture someone walking up, picking up the phone, and just over the loudspeakers, you just hear <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> well... <laughs> Here, I'm going to play the classic video of the guy hitting pound eight on the Costco phone. That this Gary, is the Walmart one, right? Uh, I think it's, it looks like a Costco. It's, it's a, a Costco. It's a Costco uh, it's one. A Costco. Okay. It's a Costco. And, and There's a variety. Yeah, there's a few of them. There's but a few this, of them out there. But the best one. This is probably the best one. I think it's one of the best ones because it's original. It's the first it's, one. It's the OG to me. Is this from the Costco and Wasco? Yeah, exa- that's the one. And here we go. So I'll play, I'll play you the sound just because it's funny. <laughs> And he even does a little. He even does a little leg lift. Yep. And, uh, and, and I, I, his, I, I'm sorry that that echo. cut off so soon. I was really interested in the RT RT zero. Here, let's uh, let's play again. It didn't let the verb go. Yeah, yeah it kind of cuts oh, off soon. That's good. But anyway, so everybody knows Gary loves these videos, and a new one that's been making the rounds is this is in Walmart, and it's where Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Sorry. <laughs> What the fuck was that? It features <laughs> I'll tell you why I said it that way. Because literally, I was, my next sentence was, the, the caption is wall fart. And so I was like, oh, wall fart. This is in Walmart, it, but this caption is wall fart. But it's in Walmart with a caption wall fart. And, uh, and here is the video. This video has been making the rounds. And it's a guy in sandals with a face mask. So you know it's more current. Yeah, it's more current. And it goes with something like this. <laughs> Dawson laughs as he should. I wish I had headphones. But <laughs> <laughs> that's an amazing moment. We all forgot Kale doesn't wear headphones. <laughs> Kale's just, just sitting there listening to us laugh and yeah. fart noises, and to him, it's just in silence. What until... really makes these great is reverb. Yeah. Well, here, so Dawson. People, I'll... when you when you post them. Give us a little tail at the end, yeah. so we can we can find we can really judge the reverb timing. Well, on Dawson, these. I think I'm gonna these pl- people have to make an exit. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think that might be the problem. Dawson, I'm going to play you the farts. Well, not the again. guy filming, uh, just the guy farting into the phone. Yeah, someone Dawson, else is filming it. I assume they're in cahoots. Yeah. <laughs> just a rogue side. I'd mean, be they're real lucky. Get that yeah. guy. It's just a guy filming with his cell phone, yeah. and trying yeah. to figure out what cereal he's going to buy. <laughs> Now, I want you to know how you feel about this, Dawson. Right. I want you to listen to the Costco fart again, but I want you to not only pay attention to the verb, but the tone, okay. the pitch, All right. the EQ. Here we go. Mm. You heard that? That's what we call a rumbler. Yeah. Now, here's Walmart's. Same dude! Wow. <laughs> I love it. That's the conclusion. Same dude. Around. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. And he has a pretty consistent I... diet. I will say that. <laughs> you lost Gary this morning. <laughs> Gary, I need your son. No, Gary, you got to come back. <laughs> okay, Dawson. Well, I'm going to tell you what happened. This is going to blow your mind, Dawson. This is going to blow your mind. All Gary, right. Give me a. give me one of these. <laughs> Can you give me one of this these? This just please? really... This just really opened up a lot of stuff. So, okay, Dawson, you can see my computer here? Yeah. So this is the guy in Costco. This is the original, the OG. Okay. And what he did is he went up. I'll tell you what's happening. 
What has he got? He brought a megaphone? Oh, uh, sorry. The, There's the no phone down. where that guy is. Yeah, Chris, exactly. once again, trying to open an app in the middle of the goddamn show. <laughs> oh, it's, don't talk over the fart, Matt. Yeah, Here we good. go. Okay, and then this guy. It's like Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> See, this guy, Dawson, he doesn't really do it. He used the audio. Oh. <laughs> From what a dick! From the Costco fart, and I will tell you this: Gary has gone so far to analyze it as he took the waveforms of Good both job. farts. Good job. And if you look at the waveforms here, identical waveforms of both farts. Okay, so if you look at the dB, the decibel level, the tone, Perfect. the pitch, the, the just the way the waveform is transients. Shaped. Yeah, yeah, the tra- the different transients. Yeah, and the fact that it's it's. Cut off and edited to a certain point on yeah. the other one, so there's there's silence, and so some some audio guy said, "Well, all I need is the yeah. fucking waveform itself." Or a man has a very <laughs> consistent <laughs> diet. Well, or, this has this. Well, this, dude, hey, uh, hey, I gotta okay. be honest. That was so I gotta great. be honest. I great. never the same guy. Guy. That's fucking great. That's, that's I that's definitely so the same part. <laughs> I never provided for the opportunity that it was the same rogue partner <laughs> traveling across the nation, eating only number sixes from Del Taco. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, a lot of science identical involved. farts. This, but see, not that. Not every scientific guys, thought went through my head, Dawson. Have you guys ever farted and your brother says, oh, you just farted like dad? Not yet. Okay, but, that, that will happen. But, okay, there's so many things going on right now. Laura Lee, you better get to it. Yeah. So before, before we get into Dawson's response, let's just talk about this. Gary... So. How what happened? How did you come across this video, the sounds, and yeah, it's a total fake, which makes me so mad. It's a fart it just, fake. I, it's a fart fake, and I think it's so lame. It's totally lame. Yeah. Well, here's what happened. I, as noted on this show, absolutely love these videos. I think they're the funniest goddamn thing in the world. So when I find one, I will always save it. Usually, <laughs> usually text it to a few people. I don't like meticulously store them, but I'll I'll grab one. And then I'll send it usually to some of the guys in the, this room. I've gotten a number of them. A few of the guys I used to live with. Just my friend groups, my group chats. I'll just throw them out there because I figure if I find them funny, I'm going to get an eye roll from a few people. But a few other people are going to really enjoy it. I will say this. Gary liked it so much. He sent me the Costco video days ago. Yeah. I didn't even know about the new one. I had no intention of bringing this up on the show Yeah, when I sent that. I was just sending it for your enjoyment. Yeah. And uh, so I sent the Costco one, I believe. To OG. my friend group, and one of my friends commented, I still giggle every time I see this video. Because, as mentioned, this is the OG. It's been around for a year and a half or something, maybe longer. It's been around for a while. And I replied, thinking I was going to blow this guy's mind, video, this is a genre. And I dropped the one with the mask on him. He replies back 11 seconds later, fake, that's the same fart. <laughs> And I was incensed. I was so angry. I went immediately to my computer. Solid detective work. I went immediately to my computer and pulled the waveforms. And sure enough, he was dead right. Absolutely right. Unless, the man knows his farts. I mean, unless, unless the man has a really a consistent diet. diet. Now, quick question for clarity. Quick question for clarity. The guy in Costco is was, really doing it. Is really doing it, but that was not amplified. He's not doing it into a phone because there's no phone in that he did. video. There is a phone. He did do it the phone, phone is on the backside of the post he walks up to. Yeah. He did okay. That. Show me the one that's real. That's the Costco one. All right. Me... Chris, show us anything that's real. But no, that's, no, I, that's I, the I... magic question. Oh, this is not. This is the fake one. That's <laughs> the fake one. Now watch. Watch the guy. Wait. Let me show you the real one. Just show Sorry, me the not, real the, one. The, the files and, and are show me where the phone is. Right, I'm gonna get another beer. Okay. So if you look, oh, there's a post you can't see. Okay, okay, I, <laughs> Dawson, I couldn't see the post. Dawson's going out of his mind right now. Well, I'm I'm looking at this from a different angle, so oh, I, yeah. I did not see the post. It kind of blends in from where I am as part of the freezer section. Yeah, does a little lift leg, takes the phone, puts it up All to right. his butt. For listeners, if you want to see this video, we're going to embed it on the YouTube video of this episode, so you can go to Chris Loxham on his YouTube channel. Yeah. And you'll be able to see it. And it's going to be featured on the next episode of Sword and Scale. Written by Matt Fondelier. Yeah, this is, this, is, yeah. this is quite the mystery. Like, 
I'm happy that you came across this and this has been figured out. But here's my question. That's great. But here's my question. Is is nothing sacred? <laughs> <laughs> I I agree because oh man, I I agree cuz Gary, what's wrong? Nothing. Okay. I think I think it's so if you already got the phone up to your butt, just do it. Just do it already. Just do it. It's, you're already there. No, that is the definition of poser. Yeah, definition of poser. Now, I was really excited to show this to you guys. Kaylin, I forgot he wasn't wearing headphones. I don't know if Matt knew about this or not. I was part of that friend chain that Gary's talking about. Okay, so I, you knew about it. I'm aware of its fakeness as well. How insane was Dawson's response when he <laughs> saw it? Because he was like, same guy. <laughs> oh, I heard it. No, I, I after you played them yeah. together, I didn't see it. Uh, okay. I heard I the same fart. Because I don't think I have ever farted the exact same place. They're oh, just no, as, dude. Everybody's got as, their own farts. No, but but the day you fart like your dad is the day, a day to start ends. rethinking your life. Yeah, I agree. I, I find mine are more like snowflakes. They're all different. Mm. All unique. All their own thing. Mine are too, except... The really loud, smelly yeah. snowflakes. Icicles. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, Gary, I'm glad we were able to get to the bottom of that. Me too. And the that, bottom. That poser. Matt, don't. Come at, on. Don't. He said it. better I'm just pointing that. it out. That poser at the we'll Walmart. Give, we'll give a little. <laughs> get out of here, man. Get out of here. I'm not, I'm not throwing a fucking yellow flag. Thank you. Brown flag? Don't ruin the <laughs> sanctity. Now, that one's now, that one's now I'm throwing the that red flag. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well let's get, let's uh, let's get a little. Well, first off, thanks to all the people in the in the Bobo Boy Army Worldwide LC oh. Facebook group. Oh. Yeah, thank you guys for content <laughs> and thank content you guys for listening. Comment. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's. We have a flick in the bean. Why don't we Sweet. just get into that? Are you ready, Kalen? Well, I'm ready. Right. Oh, there's still more show. I love oh, it. Oh yeah, it's not it's not just there, Matt. We got plenty of show to go. We all want to know one thing, your opinion's what we need, so Kaylin, get on that mic, and flick the bean. Oh, Kaylin, flick the bean. Respect, Respect all women. women. Ooh. Ooh. Was that out of phase, or did someone do it at the same time? That, that was the same guy farting. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, I'm going to be reviewing Black Box. This is available now on Amazon Prime. Kaylin, we don't need to hear about your Saturday night. This is... <laughs> oh, jeez. This is the <laughs> Joe G's. <laughs> um, I came into the studio on Sunday and I was talking about horror movies or shows or whatever. And Chris said, mm. "Did you see that new one on Amazon?" I said, "Which one?" And then he said, "I'm not really sure. There's just some new one on Amazon." Yeah, see, it's when a I great see... intro so far, <laughs> yeah. dude. Well, here's the thing: I get commercials for these horror movies, and when I see that it's of the horror genre, I fa- I tune out. So I don't know what it's called. I saw the first 10 seconds. I know it's on Amazon. I can't give you any more info, Kaylin. It was enough info, so it's okay. Okay. Um, I did go to Amazon later to try and find said horror movie, and I came across there's a new series of, I guess they're not really horse. They're horror, suspense, sci-fi, mystery. Like, there's four different ones, and they're under the headline, Welcome to Blumhouse. It's like a rollout of these four movies. Apparently, there's going to be some more. Blumhouse Films is one of the big producers of the horror films, right. correct? Yes, but they're getting so big now. I think they're just expanding into, again, these are like suspense, sci-fi. Um, the one Chris was talking about is called Nocturne. That's not the one I watched, but I probably will watch that one next. This one's called Black Box. Um, it does fall more under the suspense sci-fi genre than horror. Uh, it's written directed by Emmanuel Osei Kafour. I hadn't really known other stuff that he's done. Uh, the main star, Mamudu Athi, is in a great movie called Patty Cakes. I don't know if you guys that have seen that movie. one. It's a really good movie. He plays like the uh, the punk rock dude. Oh, is that? Uh, I remember that one. Yeah, it's yeah. a really fun movie. If you haven't seen Patty Cakes, definitely check that one out. Um, he's also in that underwater movie, the T.J. Miller one. I never saw it, but yeah. I didn't hear great things about it. I was really looking it. forward to watching that one, yeah. too. Uh, Black Box is 100 minutes long. It's got a 74% critic, 64% audience, and it's about a man that undergoes an experimental treatment to help cure the amnesia that he suffered following a terrible car accident that left his wife dead and him with brain damage. Uh, this is uh, very reminiscent of like a Black Mirror episode. 
So these are kind of almost like full length. Well, I think they are. This one at least is like a full length Black Mirror episode. Um, I didn't really expect much. I did do a little bit of research after you told me about it. So I knew it wasn't like straight horror. So I wasn't really disappointed. Um, the main actor in it, he's really good. The story's pretty intriguing. There's like some some twists along the way that make it pretty fun. Uh, it is a little slow though. You know, I think that's why Black Mirror is a bit better because it's not quite as long as these full length movies. It's a little creepy. Uh, it's not scary, Chris. You could watch it. Um, it's my cool. favorite. Part. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part, the Chris Corner. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's really simple. It's not complicated at all. Um, I thought it was really well made. It could have easily felt like a really cheaply made movie because it was so simple, but it didn't. It it looked good, and uh, overall, I thought it was pretty all right. That's the best way that I could put it. So it's as good as this podcast. <clears throat> it's pretty all right. You hear that, cell phones? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll see how the other Welcome to Blumhouse movies pan out. But uh, this one was good enough to get me to check out another. So it is flickable. 6.2 out of 10. And that was That I've... last season of Black Mirror. Not great. It was the most disturbing set of television I have ever watched really? in my life. I thought the earlier ones were way better and more disturbing than those ones. They went they went for the 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 let's really fucking fuck with you and scare the fuck out of you um dystopian wise. Mm. I didn't watch any of it. The whole voice inside <laughs> the doll. And I'll wake you later. Oh, the, no, alert. dude, you're talking about, uh, dude. No, dude, you're talking about the finale of the season before that. That episode is great. The newest season is like the Miley Cyrus episode. Oh, you're right. My yeah. bad. But My yes, bad. that yes. episode you're yes. talking about is fantastic. Yes. I'm sorry. I thought I you guys. My bad. We're gonna fight. Are you guys sure My it's bad. not the same season? <laughs> that's no, the no. the Miley stuff was new. I, I forgot, and that's how good. The season before was because I totally forgot about this. Another great one from of, that season is the Star yeah. Trek episode. With, the start, uh, the first that was the first Jesse one of the Clemens, season. Yeah. It's fucking awesome, Todd, but it's totally fucked up. It was I had, really fucked up. Awesome though. I had to see that one. That one's great. It was fantastic because Todd was in it. Yeah, yeah. I'll watch anything. He's one. He's one of my favorite actors right now. Yeah, he's great. Even in when he was in El Camino, and he, and totally, he looked totally different, super <laughs> thick. <laughs> yeah, he looked <laughs> com- <laughs> completely different. I didn't care. Like while watching, I was like, okay, whatever. I'm over it because I just love the character so much. And yeah, as I've told Kay on this many times. I want a Todd origin story. Let me let Vince me drop Gilligan, this in hear me? really quick. When it comes to actors, or Vince Gilligan's acting phone? really good. The other night, I watched a movie called The Taxpayer. It's co-starring Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, great actor. familiar. Movie's a little not good. Disjointed. No, it's it, it's cool. It's got like sixteen percent from the critics and seventy one percent from the audience. Wow. It's pretty good. It, it's got some great violin scenes. Uh, it brings you into Wait, gangland. Violin scenes? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, bro, there's a, there's a <laughs> rocking the violin. Well, it's a it's a quartet. It's oh, not okay. really mm. not a full orchestra. But um, Shia LaBeouf plays a white dude who grew up in Mexican gangs, and this is one of the single greatest pieces of acting I've ever seen. This fucking dude dude do. So he, he, check out the check out the taxpayer. Don't expect much, but Shia LaBeouf, fucking holy fuck, that hey, guy pulls it he's off. He's a great. Hey actor. Doss, you want a fun he, fact from that movie? Yeah, his chest tattoo, it's real. He did it for that movie. He got a tattoo has, for the movie. I love that. I don't remember the chest tattoo. He has an aggressive full chest tattoo now. That's like styled to be a Mexican gangster, and he has that for real on his body. A fucking. Jesus. He is a little nuts. He's insane. And if That's insanity nice is is uh, one of the keys to great acting, fucking yeah. great job. Undoubtedly, Go with God, keep going. Yeah, He's undoubtedly that. a great. He's so good. If insanity is one of the keys to being a great actor, we have a untapped potential here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Just go downtown. We can very true. We can find a few Robert De Niro's and a few Al Pacino's yeah. living on the tents. But I, I don't, know. I don't think he's here. Shia I think he's just a regular dude wow. doesn't give a fuck. Wow. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> that's crazy picture. It's, more tattoo than it's tat- called The Taxpayer. It's 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 worth a look. It's a David Ayer's movie. Yeah. Oh, like well, him. I'm a he's cool. I'm a big Shia fan myself. So, happy happy to watch anything he's in. 
talking to? He's the tax collector. I'm sorry. The yeah. tax collector. Oh, okay. oh. I was like, the taxpayer? Not the taxpayer. I was like, isn't there a no, Ben no, Affleck no. movie that's like that? Oh, The Accountant. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> the whole time I was waiting for Ben Affleck to show that's up. That's a fun movie, though. <laughs> um, it's called The Comptroller. <laughs> All right. Well, I do want to get into my Mexico trip. But I think I'll do that on the Patreon episode. Right? Oh, bonus. Yeah, how about that, guys? If anybody wants to check that out. It's, yeah. Uh, Patreon.com slash water cooler. So clean. So, We've been so clean. laying down some good shows. We have. Yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, I mean, Gary's Jewish frat story somewhere in there. So I hear. And uh, yeah, everybody should sign up. See, that's my sales pitch. It's good. Yeah. Here, I'll read all an Easter egg right there, <clears throat> folks. Yeah, I'll I'll read uh I'll read one comment from the Patreon episode. One comment. Let's see. This one is from okay. This is from uh, Casey Peters, who he just got married, and he just wrote, "quote He straw dog he straw dogged it." Ha ha ha! Gary needs more credit. So that is kind of the stuff that people are missing. <laughs> wow, what a bitch! Jesus. <laughs> Damn. Fuck, dude. I'm going I'm to pay for it now. If that doesn't make you sign up for quotes like that from Gary, he straw-dogged it. If anybody wants context, check out Patreon. All right. Let's get our plugs in. Start here with my left. Mr. Kalen Bean, what's up with you? Oh, don't worry about me. All right. We won't. Gary Smith? Davesofthunder.com. And uh, check out the Reasonable Doubt YouTube channel, youtube.com slash reasonable doubt podcast. Love it. And Days of Thunder might have uh, a very exciting on-location something. We do. We do. In the works. <laughs> and it is, uh, you guys will hear about it here, too, because it's oh, going to yeah. be wild. Matt Fondelier? You can follow me on Twitter at Matt Fondelier. And, hey, if you want to listen to something scary, I suggest the Sword and Scale podcast mentioned by Dawson a little bit earlier. It's a true crime show. I write episodes of that show. And the just... latest episode is on the Costco fart. Yes. <laughs> If only. Um, I just happened to have pulled up. Somebody on Twitter was kind enough to ask me, which episodes are your episodes? So if you want to check out the ones that I wrote, Sword and Scale, you can find it just about anywhere. And check out my episodes, 139, 144, 153, 161, and 162. And then there's another one that will be coming out just after Halloween that I'm excited to talk to you guys about once it comes out. Woo! Is that going to be 169? Because it's... No, oh. we missed that one. I should have texted him. And been yeah. like, hey. Listen, I know the episode's not done yet, but... <laughs> I demand. I know we're on more. episode 178, but can you go back and repost one for me? No. Yeah, well, Gary goes on it. He'll work yeah. out your negotiation. But yeah, it's Halloween time. Scare, scare yourself with some true crime. You won't regret it. Nice. Until you're trying to fall asleep at night. Yeah, it's it, it's starting to feel like Halloween time. Which oh, is yeah. Really exciting. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it's 107 you... degrees now. <laughs> no, yeah. as fuck. Yeah. The, Our uh, house is decorated. You got? Do you, did you get a costume? Mm-mm. You're not going to dress up? No, probably not. Yeah, Have not you even been at home Petco alone. Lately? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Gary says that because one time I had a dog costume. I wore a dog costume in a pinch. I needed a costume and for uh, it was my new coworker. I like how Chris goes deadpan as though it's not an absurd story. Like Gary says that because one time I got a dog costume. I, I, we all have. <laughs> no. I had a. I had to go to a party one time. There are people living in their cars right now shouting a dog. Co- what is this story? It, it, it's. I'm not saying it has a costume of a dog. No, he had to, he had to throw it together. No, no, the last second, right? Yeah, no, so, but Dawson, yeah. it's not a costume of a dog. It's he went to the Petco and got a costume for. A large animal for a dog, a Correct. dog. Co- yes, I love that. of a bee. I think it's a bumblebee. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, I needed a costume last minute, and somebody had given me a long time ago a Willie Nelson headband that you tie on your head, and it's got two fucking braids on the side of it, right? Nice. But I also had a mask or a hood mask that had devil's horns, and so I put both of them on, and that night. I was Willie Nelson in three years. Wow. Nice. And <laughs> he farted like his dad. <laughs> and that night, the guy who played Judge Lancito in uh, the uh, OJ in the OJ thing, yeah, that guy made me do shot after shot of Jägermeister with him because he liked my costume. Nice. That's a That's cool thing. And I, love of I drank the Jäger with him, and the next day, I'm lying in bed dying going... <laughs> Fuck you, Lanzito! <laughs> anyway. 
Follow me at Dos Angeles. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate that you guys listen to this podcast, first of all. Fucking thank you. Guys, that's, girls, that's thanks, awesome. guys. Guys. Guys, guys, look, look. guys is a plurality. Guys, yeah. guys. Well, yeah. Everyone who listens to this understands that. Cell phones have no gender. We know yeah. that. As Matt said, <laughs> it also could be cell phones. <laughs> Thanks, cell phones. Thanks, uh, Thanks cell phones. Thanks, okay. cell phones. Thanks, cell phones. A cell is something different. You should watch Oz. So no, oh, no, that's no true. Oh, <laughs> oh good. forgot that, about that. Uh, all right. Well, that'll do it for Water That was Court. it? We'll be back for Patreon. What's up? I still have a plug. You just plugged just Los plug. Angeles. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Mere seconds ago, you, you said, follow me at Los Angeles. <laughs> well, that was, yeah, that was the intro to the oh, plug. It was a pre-plug. Oh, oh, oh I'm, a, I'm, so I, when, when Matt <laughs> says, follow me on Twitter at Matt Fondelier and check out Sword and Scale, do you cut him off before the check out Sword and Scale? I talk really fast. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's been done. <laughs> <laughs> See, you have to put the plug into the power extension cord, and then you right. have to turn the extension cord on when you want the plug yeah. to work. Here's what here's what happened, Dawson. Your pre-chorus was so catchy and so good. I didn't think that there was a chorus, but here we go. Here's my plug. Don't bore us. Get to the chorus. Love you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That was worth it. <laughs> and for my plug, be good to each other. We love you guys. Mm. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, for listening, for telling friends, and uh, we just appreciate it. So we'll continue keeping up what we're, what we're doing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs>